Um, I have been eating like crap, which is probably why I feel like crap. If you guys are new to following me, I was able to lose 100 pounds of fat in 2019. I've been on a wellness journey since May 1st of 2019. I'm not the biggest. I was, I weighed almost 350 pounds. I'm not the smallest I was either. And it's a daily struggle for me to navigate through life. I'm an emotional eater. I'm addicted to food. And I just love food in general. I work on it every single day. I follow Lazy Keto, which is about eliminating. We don't track macros. We don't get super restrictive. We just focus on like, these are the foods you should avoid. And these are the foods that you should eat. When I'm not being super intentional with my journey, like right now, I'm just kind of like taking it day by day. I don't always eat lazy keto. I've not been very good over the last, well, basically since July 1st because I have excuses, but everyone has excuses, right? But I feel like crap. I know what I need to do. And so we're doing it. So I'm doing an eye fast this week. Um... <laughs> What is it going on? Happy Sunday night. Oh my gosh, it's your girl Mel. I'm coming to you live from my office here in St. Louis, Missouri. It's like 8.30 on Sunday night. I need to stay up for a little bit. Kyla's at a friend's house and I need to go pick her up in a little bit. So I was like, I'm gonna jump on Facebook and I'm gonna talk to my friends for a minute, catch them up to speed, maybe try to get my week figured out. We're traveling again this week. I'm so tired, I'm not even gonna lie. I am exhausted. I don't know how productive I'm going to be tomorrow, but I'm gonna get together a to-do list of the things I need to do, maybe in Instacart. I don't even want to go to the grocery store, but maybe I do. I don't know. I don't feel like doing anything right now. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm exhausted. The best week ever, you guys, just happened. It was incredible. So good. So as you guys are popping on, don't forget to say hi. It's your girl Mel. First of all, did you guys see that I got all my hair cut off? Best decision. I have zero regrets. I took a shower when I got back home today. So I haven't like done anything to it. Like literally I didn't blow dry it. I didn't straighten it. So it, this is, this is like what you're getting, but I'm here for it. My hair was so long. You guys, it was heavy. It was thick. Are you guys long hair people or short hair people? I want to know. I thought that I wanted to be a long haired person and I did not. I tried. When I called my hairdresser last week, and I was like, Kelly, can you get me in? I want to cut all my hair off. She was like, is this a joke? Is this a test? Because you told me you didn't want to cut your hair off the last couple times you've been in. And I was like, no, I think I'm ready. So I, I'm telling you guys, it was like down to here. And I was like, get it off me. It was heavy. It was thick. I was wearing it in a ponytail or a bun every single day. And I hated how like it wraps around your neck. So I asked Kyla, because Kyla's my daughter, and she's got like really long hair. And I was like, Kyla... Do you, like, does your hair wrap around your neck, like, after your shower, when you're laying in bed and your hair is wet, or, like, when you go to the pool and then you, like, get out and you lay out? I'm like, does your hair wrap around your neck? She's like, yeah, but you get used to that. No, I don't want to get used to that. So, got my hair cut off on Wednesday. Thursday, we went to Morgan Wallen in downtown St. Louis at Bush Stadium. Amazing concert. I didn't like the opening act, like, setup. We got there. Gates opened at 4. So, we got there probably around 4.45. The lines were not long. We got in super fast. Got to our, like, got through the merch line with eight girls. Got drinks and then we went to our seats. And so we got to our seats probably about 5.15. And Bailey Zimmerman was the first opening act. So he came on at 5.30. Morgan Wallen didn't actually come on stage until 9 p.m. So from 5.30 to 9, there were three acts. And each of them played like three to five songs. And then the amount of time it took the stage crew to, like, take everything off the stage and bring it on, it was just, like, s too much waiting around. But when more, and, you know, like, they, the guys did okay on their songs, but, like, I don't know. I just wasn't, like, overly impressed with that part. I'm super happy that it wasn't super hot, but we did sweat, like... It was, it was sticky. But anyways, when Morgan Wallen hit the stage, he played for an hour and a half. And I think I knew all but like one song. He played so many good songs and it was like, bam, 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 like super quick. The girls that we went with, they went to Morgan Wallen last year and they said they didn't like that he didn't talk a lot. Like he literally didn't hardly say anything in between the songs. And they said like the last time that he performed, they loved his storytelling. So I didn't have anything to compare it to. I liked the like bam, 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 all that music that was just like nonstop. So we did that terrible parking lot situation. We sat there and did not move for over an hour. People were like getting super impatient. So there was lots of confrontational situations at like 11, 12, 
12 o'clock at night, you know, plus people had been drinking, so that like elevates the energy. Um, people were like getting out of their cars and like yelling at each other, like being super aggressive when you're not even moving to try to like get in front of you. And it's like, like we were sitting here and this person was trying to come in front of us and they were just inching every little bit. And I'm like, dude, I have been sitting in the same spot for 55 minutes. Like, I don't know what, what you're like, I don't know. So anyways, we finally got out of there, got home about 1.30, got up and had to leave by 10 on Friday because then we drove across the state to Kansas City and went to Taylor Swift on Friday night. Best concert, hands down best concert I've ever been to. So I didn't know that she had opening acts. So I guess she changes them often. Maybe, I don't know. I, this is like was a rumor like a couple of the girls around us were saying. They thought that she got like local artists that were to the areas that she's in. That's, those are her opening acts. So they're not the same for every show. So they had two of them on. They were, they were fun, energetic, cute or whatever. St Taylor took the stage a little before eight and she played nonstop for almost four hours. Like nonstop. The only pauses in her show where there was still music and lots of like stuff on the big screens, the only time she was not singing was when she was changing into another outfit. It was incredible. It was literally the best show. And then you got these like bracelets that lit up um, with like the beats of the songs and they were like different for the sections depending on where you are. Just overall like super cool experience. So we got out of there a little after midnight, grabbed a quick bite to eat, and then went to the hotel. Had to check out of the hotel yesterday morning. Sin, his girlfriend, and Kyla's friend went back to St. Louis, and then D, Kyla, and I went down to Lake of the Ozarks so that Kyla could play in her softball tournament. So we were at the softball field until 11 o'clock last night. Back there at 7 o'clock this morning. They lost their first game, so they were done, and then we had to drive two and a half hours back, unpack, do all the things, and I am exhausted. <laughs> exhausted. So Donna was at the concert Friday. It was, the weather was perfect. Oh my gosh, I could go on and on and on. Like, if I have the opportunity to see her again for the Eras concert, I would go. Like, seriously. My son, he's in the other room. He's like, I'm a Swifty for life. He's like, Mom, that was the best concert I've ever been to. So if you don't like Taylor Swift, that's fine. People are like, you paid stupid amount for your tickets. I did not. I felt like my tickets were very reasonable. And I did get them through Ticketmaster when they went on sale last year on the pre-sale. I did sit on the computer for like eight hours, but we got a really good seat. Um, I didn't pay astronomical at all. Only $50 more than the Morgan Wallen tickets. And they were way better seat. And the concert was so much longer. So I have been eating like crap, which is probably why I feel like crap. And so if you guys are new to following me, I was able to lose 100 pounds of fat in 2019. I've been on a wellness journey since May 1st of 2019, um, where I'm not the biggest I was, I weighed almost 350 pounds. I'm not the smallest I was either. And it's a daily struggle for me uh, to navigate through life. I'm an emotional eater. I'm addicted to food. And I just love food in general. So, uh, you know, I work on it every single day. I follow Lazy Keto, uh, which is about eliminating. We don't track macros. We don't get super restrictive. Uh, we just focus on, like, these are the foods you should avoid. And these are the foods that you should eat. Um, when I'm not being super intentional with my journey, like right now, I'm just kind of like taking it day by day. Um, I don't always eat lazy keto. I've not been very good over the last, well, basically since July 1st because just, I have excuses, but everyone has excuses, right? Um, I've just been kind of living my life, but I feel like crap. I know what I need to do. And so we're doing it. So I'm doing an eye fast this week. Um, we are leaving on Thursday for Iowa for Kyla's last softball tournament of travel ball season. Um, and so this is going to kind of help me stay on plan. I do plan on doing the iFast while I'm in Iowa, um, <clears throat> because it's no snacking. So it's just focusing on lunch and focusing on dinner. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we don't have anything. 
We don't have anything, you guys. The kids have things, like they have practices. Basketball is over for Kyla. Um, Austin has football in the morning. Kyla has some open fields for high school softball. Um, they're both in high school, by the way, if you guys don't know anything about me. I have two kids, and they are going to be a sophomore and a junior. They play all the sports. Um, Kyla's a lifeguard, so she has um, work every night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And um, Austin does kind of pick up shifts from the neighbor he owns a construction company so that's kind of like a day-by-day -day thing but we don't have any games so excited so anyways this is going to be a pretty simple uh meal planning week we are in iowa through sunday um did you guys see my live last week where i tried the cottage cheese and mustard stuff i'm doing that this week um that's literally what my lunch is going to be monday tuesday and wednesday I've been thinking about it since I ate it last Wednesday. Um, it's super easy. It was very filling. Um, all those foods make me feel better. My feet, have you guys been, how long have you guys been following me? I want to know. Put in the comments how long you guys have been following me. I've been dealing with this severe foot pain since last summer. It started um, probably even a little bit sooner than last summer. I just remember really noticing it last summer. And the only reason I remember that time frame is because one of the moms on my son's baseball team works for like an orthopedic doctor and in specializing in foot pain. And so I remember talking to her on the beach at the Florida tournament last year. And I'm like, my feet hurt so bad. And she's like, okay, do X, Y, and Z. It sounds like plantar fasciitis, blah, blah, blah. Well, I did all that stuff, probably not as much as like I should have, but, but I did it. And I just haven't found much relief. My husband found this cream on Amazon that like has been really good, but, uh, I still have it. It still lingers. And then in April, I did that elimination diet for 36 days and I had almost zero foot pain when I did that elimination diet. And so I wholeheartedly believe I've been reading a lot of articles on the internet, um, listening to people talk, and I 100% believe that my foot pain is self-induced from the food I eat. <laughs> so sometimes when I go to eat something and I'm cheating, I'm like, you know that you're not going to be able to walk in the morning. And in the moment, I'm like, yes, but that banana split... I want that, and so it's going to be fine, but uh, it's not been fine. My feet have been hurting so bad, so I really do want to try doing some more of that elimination and see if that's, like, really a thing. Um, does it hurt when I walk barefoot? It hurts all the time. I wear uh, ufas. I try to wear ufas as much as I can inside. It's like a plantar, plantar fasciitis recovery sandal. <laughs> that you can get. So I have Ufas. I wear Burks. I have really good walking shoes. Um, I've, I've worn like the thing that at night that like looks like a boot, but it like keeps your foot straight. I've tried the creams. I don't want to get fit like injections in my feet. I'm telling you guys in my soul, I believe it's caused from some of the foods I've been eating. So I cannot, I cannot like support that with any kind of medical, uh, anything. It's just my own personal um, experience and documentation that I've been kind of following since April. I'm telling you guys, I really do feel like it's caused from the food that I've been eating. So anyways, with that being said, the eye fast is what I'm doing this week, which like I said, it's a product assisted um, intermittent fasting program. So you have product that you take, you have protein shakes, um, and then you have high protein for lunch and low carb for dinner. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm doing the chicken sausage and the cottage cheese, which is the high protein, and I'm going to have raw vegetables and fresh fruit. So it's going to be strawberries, watermelon, pineapple, like that stuff is not lazy keto, but you know what? That stuff's not our problem, okay? And it's in season right now, and it's so good, and so I'm going to have it with my lunch in moderation, all right? So I'm I'm telling you guys, that's what I'm going to do this week. And then for dinner, I really think we're just going to do um, some grilling stuff. Since we're going to be home, we can sit outside and watch TV. The weather's supposed to be decent. Um, so like um, some kebabs 
and then the Schwann's chicken that I talk about a lot. Um, we're just going to grill and then we're just going to do vegetables. We're going to do some green beans. We're going to do some, um, like this grocery store by our house called Schnooks. They have Brussels sprouts, peppers, zucchini, um, green beans in these brown bags that you can put in the microwave. It's like fresh, um, not like frozen. And then you just cook them. They're already seasoned and everything. So I'm probably just going to go to Schnooks and get some meat to grill for the three nights, get some vegetables to have with that. And that's what I'm having. I'm going to have chunky monkey protein shakes for lunch on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because I miss them so much. If you know, you know. If you don't know, it's literally just frozen bananas, almond milk, a heaping spoonful of powdered peanut butter, and some, the dark chocolate protein powder that I drink. And you mix it up and it's chef's kiss, so good. And then I'll probably have creamy mint, lemon shortbread, or um, orange dream with just some vanilla unsweetened almond milk um, for my evening one. And so I'll have the two protein shakes. I'm gonna have the chicken sausage, cottage cheese and mustard, and vegetables for lunch. We're gonna grill some kind of protein for dinner and have a vegetable with it, maybe a salad even. Um, whatever sounds good tomorrow when I go to the grocery store, I'm gonna have a little bit of fresh fruit with my lunch. And that's what I'm gonna do Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Maybe Thursday, depending on what time we leave. And then um, through the weekend, I'm just going to be a little bit smarter with my choices. Because we're going to be doing some team stuff. I know we're going to be doing some team stuff because it's us. It's Kyla's softball team. Um, all the parents like really like each other. Um, I'm sure there'll be some kind of team dinner. But I'm just going to be smart when we go out to eat. Probably like wings and a side salad at the restaurant. Um, if we do any kind of fast food, I'm just going to probably look for like Qdoba or uh, Chipotle. Or I'm going to look for... Um, like a Jimmy John's and do like a lettuce wrap. Um, or I might even, depending on like, it's like a day by day thing, right? Um, or if they're going to do like pizza in the hotel, um, I might go to like a local grocery store and get some deli meat and make like a wrap with a low carb tortilla and just have that. Like I don't have to have the pizza. Um, you know, I, there's, there's really easy ways to navigate around all of this. Um, especially if you're looking for fat loss and you're on a wellness journey, you just have to like take a step back, evaluate the situation and uh, problem solve. And so that's what we're doing. So how does that sound? And then we're just going to drink a lot of water, um, a lot of water this week. I've had some soda this week. I can tell you guys that, um, it doesn't taste as good. It's been a long time since I've had soda. Um, and I've had some soda recently and, um, I don't drink them all. They burn my throat when I do drink them. Some of them are good. Like McDonald's has crispy Coke and it's, it's good. Um, but I feel like my stomach gets so bloated. Um, and I just don't like how I feel. So I'm just going to go back to water talk. I belong on water talk. I have everything I need to be successful with drinking flavored water and not soda. So I'm just going right back to all of that. I just, I'm telling you guys, I've been doing this for over four years. Um, I have moments of weakness just like everyone else. I will never hide that. I will never lie about that. Um, that has been my life for the last nine days. Uh, but like, I feel like absolute crap. I don't feel good. So I can, I know what I need to do and I just need to do it. So that's what we're focusing on. So um, if you guys want to do the iFast with me, I'm coaching in um, Journey to Better, which is a group that I think most of you guys are in. Um, but if you're not, let me know. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing because uh, it's a community-wide. So I'm in there. I'm also doing some coaching for the company. So that's pretty cool um, to be an actual prove it um, like company fasting coach. Um, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. I'm just somebody who's had really great results, um, with using the product and the systems and the programs that we have. And I'm very passionate about it because I literally think like, I know what I do is not for everyone, but like literally it's for everyone. <laughs> it is. I just, it's super easy to follow. Lazy keto is easy. Drinking water is easy. 
um, tightening up the hours that you eat and just eating in a shorter window is easy. Getting outside and walking, I know some people have limitations, but for the most part, it's easy. We just overcomplicate everything. So um, you just got to like simplify things and then just stay patient and consistent and do that every day. So anyways, I have some coupons and new customer bundles. Um, you can pair this with a box of ketones or you can get the summer slim down, which is everything that you need for a whole month and do all this stuff with us. I do drink ketones. Do I think they're for everyone? I mean, I know that they're not, but I feel like everyone should drink them <laughs> because they're amazing. Um, and that's what we're going to do all week long. So, uh, if you're just jumping on, it's another travel week for us. We're going to Iowa this time. And so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm doing um, high protein for lunch, low carb for dinner, no snacking, um, nothing but water and ketones, no soda, no tea, no none of that stuff. And um, I'm going to be doing chicken sausage, cottage cheese and mustard and fresh fruits and vegetables for lunch and for dinner because we have no games for three days. <laughs> so excited. We're going to grill. So we're going to do kebabs probably, maybe some chicken. Um, who knows what's on sale when I go to the grocery store tomorrow. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah. And we're just going to do that and a vegetable. That's what we're going to do for dinner. Drink our protein shakes, drink our water, um, get out and walk every day for at least 30 minutes. Um, and we're just going to do that. That's what we're focusing on five days right? Anybody can do anything for five days. That's what we're going to be doing for five days. So Jamie said she just got her summer slim down bundle in and started tonight. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, and if you guys have any questions for me, always know that you can ask. I'll tell you guys right now. I was talking to Kyla earlier and I was like, girlfriend, uh, she's like, mom, what are you going to do this week? Are you going to come to the pool? You know, are you like, what do you got going on? Because I don't know. I think she was just trying to like small talk me. And I was like, Kyla, I have so so much work to do. I have not really worked much in the last 72 hours because of traveling, low internet, being at the concerts, just being super present in the moments. They were life changing. The The amount of things that I am able to do with my family and my kids and how they're so excited about life just like fires me up. Um, and I want to be as present as possible for that. So I have a lot of messages to catch up on, a lot of content to post, a lot of content like responses. I know a lot of you guys are asking questions on like videos and reels or whatever. So I've got to spend Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday really like focused on getting caught up in my messenger, my text messages. I have 47 unread text messages, my emails, um, getting all that stuff done. I've promised you guys a digital cookbook that I haven't finished. Um, so I just got to like work over the next three days. And then we head to Iowa for our last softball tournament. Um, I was supposed to go to Knoxville next week because Austin's playing. And we were going to go as a family. But I don't think that I'm going. Kyla is really nervous because she's asked off for a ton of, like, off a ton of days for work. And she's, like, kind of feeling a little bad about it. And so she was like, maybe I want to stay back. And I was like, maybe I want to stay back. Because, um, for like when we moved into July, it was 19 out of 31 days that we were going to be spending in hotels. That's a lot. And I don't sleep well in hotels. So I was like, if you want to stay back, I might stay back with you. So anyways, we'll talk about that tomorrow or not tomorrow. We'll talk about that next Sunday on what that looks like for us. We have a week to decide what we officially want to do. Um, we are all going to Kansas City at the beginning of August for his last tournament, and she's playing in, like, the All-State games. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. So we don't all have to go to this one because there's still more baseball to watch. But anyways, that's what I have for you guys. So I'm going to jump off here. It's at 9 o'clock. Um, if you guys need anything at all, please let me know. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.